Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do. <laughs> so, Salute. ladies and gentlemen of the Bebop, yeah. we are together again 15 years later. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Wow. Cheers. 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 To the Bebop. Wow. Like, this is what we do when we get Bebop. Right? Did we get that or no? We did. Wandering around in the dark. Really? You no. did, yes. Hi. Hey, boy. I just had a thought. We're eating bell peppers and beef. Bell oh, peppers. No. <laughs> bell peppers and beef. You see? With no beef. With no beef. Sans the beef. But I'm happy about it this time. Yeah, you're happy about it. Yeah. yeah, you're always whining about what I cook. I know. No. I know. I thought I'd give you the night off. Uh, oh, thank you. I appreciate mean, that. <laughs> bell peppers and beef. <laughs> First love? I think it's pretty much it. I think it. it's your first love. Yeah. I see, it's, it's, it's Spike. Time to eat. He said, okay, Jeff, what we have? No peppers and beef. <laughs> he said, what we had that yesterday? He said, no, yesterday we had beef and bell peppers. <laughs> 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 I got pretty pissed off at you in the very first scene, I believe. Yeah, you did, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you were on me, young, young yeah, yeah. snapper. <laughs> so were they, the two of them, together for many years before we find out about the rest of the crew? I yeah, never I really knew. So. They must have been a... They seem like they always Well, everything is like three years, right? Mm. It was three years when you came out of your cryo tube. That's right. And mm -hmm. three years when you came out of the orphanage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. And then three years when we got together, right? Yeah. Yeah, Mary, yeah. Mary probably knows better than any of us. No, you're, you're doing great. Absolutely. You knew him a lot That's more, right? it. I mean, I, we come in mid-story, you know? Mm -hmm. Right. And find yeah. out much later mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. we travel back. Yeah, without a doubt. <laughs> mm. Fantastic. Yeah, so, so you cool. look great for a chicken 75 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I mean, yeah. right. It's that you. vegan diet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Eat healthy, you'll look like her. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Did you guys all audition for... We would just discovered this on our last little bebop tour. Was it Memphis where we were? When we were, when we were all together? Memphis. Oh, Memphis. Alabama. Birmingham. Alabama. Mm -hmm. Birmingham. Alabama, that's right. Oh. You and I were in Memphis, and Memphis then the four of us were together. Right. That's mm -hmm. right. Um, and we found out that we didn't know any of our backstories, and mm -hmm. we found out that we were some of us were selected, right? I was. I did not audition. Yeah. I don't remember. Both of us did not audition. Did I audition? Kevin I think assembled. I, think I, no, I, didn't, I didn't know I didn't anybody Kevin's in the assembled. couch until I sat down, and you were the first person mm. in the booth. I think I auditioned. But hadn't we done? Was this before or after we did audition? We've been working, working together. together. No, but we've been all working together at Magnitude 8. You'd been directing right. me. That's right. Uh, Kevin and Yutaka uh, at Mag 8 were, you know, at, from Zero Limit and Animes. That's right. Mm -hmm. So we'd all been working at Magnitude 8, but yeah. I, I hadn't directed. It was my first series directing. Oh, I've done a game for them, I think, but that was oh. it. Oh, my God. I was but just yeah, talking Kevin to Phil about us. this. Yes. Yeah, Kevin yeah. Did. I was just talking yeah. to Phil about this, how if mm -hmm. Kevin knew the success and longevity of Bebop, he never would have given it up. I said that to it's him. It's amazing. To Kevin. We to really should. Kevin. Sure. Yes. Kevin. Yeah. Kevin Seymour. Yeah. Yeah. Seymour. Our Love fearless you, leader, our Charlie. Yeah. And you know what? He probably still would have given it up because he's that kind of guy. Wow. Yeah. He didn't want the notoriety. He was no, there when I watched didn't. the opening credits. I went over to uh, Utaka and Hadios, and uh, they said, all right, we're going to show you the opening credits. And I said, okay. And Tank, you know, one, two, three, let's jam. And I was just like, are, are you kidding me? And I turned to Kevin, and I said, why the hell are you giving That's up this show? Yeah. <laughs> I'm too busy. I was too busy. Yeah. I was too busy. <laughs> but he did say to me years later, if had I any idea what it was. He did say, oh, he did say that. I never want to give it to you. I love it. Yes, you know, yeah, for sure it was a joke. Yeah, because he, sure was just, oh. yeah, because he definitely would have ended up on panels and so forth mm -hmm. yeah. for it, and that he would have been very rough for him. Yeah, yeah. 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 as shy as he was. He no, he's too shy. Well, we would have forced him. At some point, because we would have been a drug on my thing. Yeah, it could have been arranged. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, this is good. This is like real food. Mm -hmm. it's, almost, it's almost exactly like real food. But. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I just had to say yes, you know. Mm -hmm. Better when you cook in space. Park. Oh, okay. You know what? We kept you alive. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> don't look in the freezer. Yeah. Watch it, Fei Fei. You know, you're stealing all the woolongs and then you run it off and they call them for help. <laughs> no, 
notice how fast Ayn's bowl went down every day? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I almost ate Ayn once. <laughs> well, yeah, well, Damn dog. Yeah, some cultures do it. He was smarter than anybody else on that ship, I'll tell you that one. Yeah. Yeah. No, I didn't realize that the voice of Ayn, we used the original Japanese. Yep. Japanese. Yeah. So so I did not realize that. Across the board. The original voice. I just found that out the other day. Yeah. Mm. I think I begged out. to bark, too. I, I wanted that one. You wanted it. That's a lot of information, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thanks to bark. You know, you know that about me, Mike. I begged to bark, Mike. I begged to bark. Hey, you know what? You know, you know, what you do on Saturday night's your business. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Saturday, every day. Oh, okay. <laughs> Lucky I didn't hump your leg on the way in. Um, you didn't? I thought... Uh, no, that wasn't me this time. <laughs> that was Mary. Mm. Spike, Spike, we don't have that kind of relationship. <laughs> oh, yes, you do. Uh, oh, 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 all right. Oh, here we go. How long have y'all been in space? It's lovely. Yeah, right, right, yeah. I've been in the sea, right? And in space, no one can hear you scream. Yeah, that's true. Oh. Right. Mm -hmm. I have some great outtakes from the game. Remember we did a game that never went anywhere? Never went anywhere, right? Yeah, right. yeah. And it was like, it took place in an aquarium, and there was all this stuff happening but i have conversations between you two i'm going hey uh <laughs> hey, oh, do, you, do you like gladiator movies <laughs> and bo's like uh yes <laughs> you go first you go first <laughs> and then i have melissa my most favorite of all time the yippee io kaye <laughs> Leap it, leap it. Mother. Mother. Oh, and it's so brilliant. Really? Oh. So brilliant. Oh, uh, okay. That's right. You had that on your phone for a while, didn't you? Wow. I did. Wow. I should put, put that on your phone. There you go. Yeah. 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 That was your ringtone? Yeah. Yeah. I know. I'm <laughs> impressed. You're so high. <laughs> But I still, man, I went through uh, I went through my computer recently looking for outtakes, oh. and there's a whole folder of Bebop uh, oh, just from the game, oh, really? but not not from the show at all. Oh, we didn't keep no, any. no, we didn't oh. know to do that. No, no. Yeah. we didn't keep any at the time. In and the dark I, ages. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, Kappa Studios. At Kappa, Water Kappa Dragon. Studios, right, yeah. Kappa means Water Dragon, does it? Does Very it? interesting. It yes. used to be the Scientolo a Scientology building. Yeah. Oh, so there's oh, a really? history there. Yes, there's, there's a lot of different energy going on. No, there no, was okay. different energy there. Mm -hmm. That was interesting. And we had so much time with Bebop. Yeah, that was did. such a luxury. I don't know if I've ever had a production that I've ever directed where we could stop and go, okay, let's relax and watch what we just did. Yeah. That was amazing. We'd watch and go, oh, wait, let's pick up that line. Yeah, yeah, let's go back and do that. Yeah, and then I had a day and a half for three episodes to go back and QC everything oh, and wow. fix the sink. So and if something didn't ring true, to go back and, you know, listen through takes and everything else. Wow. And well, that was with I, Rick. And that was with Rick, yes. the most amazing wow. engineer. And mm -hmm. I have never had that opportunity never since. since, the luxury since. Mm -hmm. it's, wow. What's up with Rick? Yeah. Has anybody seen him? What, what? I think he ended up moving out of California. I'm not sure. Did you ever hear? I don't know. I did a, I did a TV show. Fish stick on a stick. I forget what it was called. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and, and he was he was on the stick lot. On he was on stick. Paramount, and he was on the lot. And I remember seeing him, and that's the last time I saw him. And that was two thousand years ago. So mm. Long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, what, what was his last name? You remember? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, well, very we can, good. Maybe that's Facebook right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, here's to you, Rick. Thanks mm -hmm. for making everybody sound good. Yeah. 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 He's our engineer. Yeah. He's the engineer. Yeah. There's a lot of unsung heroes in the show. And Thanks for sliding me to the left. Oh, Mark <laughs> Lynch. Two more frames. Two more frames. Mark is Mark all always over somewhere the in the world. Yeah. 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 He wrote a lot of things. You know, he would write from Vietnam. and Yeah. He just like to send a picture going, this is where I'm writing from. Uh -huh. Are you kidding? And he's mm -hmm. always to your feet and a computer and a beach, you know, I mean. Oh, oh, man. Man. Mark sent me a picture of himself. He was writing something. I think it was during the Digimon days. Mm. He was getting out of a canoe with his laptop over his head <laughs> in the water. <laughs> oh, my God. It was unbelievable. He was out there on the water writing. Wow. Incredible. Wow. Mm. Life is good, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. With the modern day, you can do that. Yeah, yeah. you can. Mm -hmm. You can. You certainly can. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he had Asian fever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, without a doubt. Mm.
but I don't think I've ever worked on a series that was better adapted. He had Aww. such a passion for it. And, and we were talking about this the other night because it was one of the few shows that I'd ever seen that was so equally balanced between animation, the writ, the word, dialogue, yes. and music. And, music. and, music. Mm-hmm. and it was this, uh, I called it the, ho- the holy trinity of, 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 <laughs> yes. of yes. music, animation, mm-hmm. and, and dialogue. Evenly balanced, you know, it was never wall-to-wall dialogue, and it was just, it was a show that breathed, mm. that just allowed the characters to breathe, oh, and yeah. it sort of resonated moments, and oh, yeah. it gave it time oh, to do that. I still have never worked on a show like that. No, mm. that captured, because no. people have asked repeatedly, what is it about Bebop that's made it so successful, and why is it, does it have the longevity that it has? <coughs> it's difficult to put your finger on exactly what it is, but those elements coming together with kind of a, a rock and roll edge Especially for Fei I really related to her as a rock singer in days gone by in my past, you know. Mm-hmm. But certainly not ever the, the latex hot pants, but... <laughs> Never too late. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're always having a You can borrow them from Man Fei. I was That's but people have said, you know, what is it? Why do you think? I think we get that question every time. Yeah. Why do you think Bebop has had such longevity? And I think a lot of it is kind of like that extra cast member, the music, mm-hmm. yeah. and that edge. I mean, it, it could have been re- written in English easily. Yeah. yeah. And it seemed like it was destined to be a live-action film, which mm-hmm. opens another topic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That we have very mixed feelings about. Yeah. 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 Which would be incredible, as long as we have a cameo. <laughs> yeah. I want us all, all to I be want. in some casino well, somewhere, and we all get blown please. away by Spike. I just want... Right. Da, 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 da. So oh. you're still young enough, you can do please. Spike. Uh, no. No, <laughs> okay. no but I, I could do, make up. What I could do is the voiceover for him. I could do... Oh, uh, oh yeah, his oh. thought filter. His yeah, thought, thought yeah, filter right. or an, oh, an opening monologue. Oh, yeah, right. yeah. opening like and that. concluding, yeah. bookends. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, and then hire a on-camera guy to match my voice. That'd be hard to do. That'd be hard to do. You got special pipes, man. It'd be hard to match your pipes. You need a face to match that voice. That's what you do. Yeah, that's some special pipes. The audience is going to get a nice cue. you're so cute with your glasses off. Okay, you better put them back on. That was too much cute. Really? That's all right. Too much cute. Too much cute. Whoa. Too much cute. All right, Jess. All right. Well, all right. Well, all right. I'll keep you hot. All right. Too cute. Too cute. Too cute. All right. Too cute. Too cute. Too cute. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. If you're still doable, cheers. This stage of life. Here's the show being doable. <laughs> I'm happy to remember my pants, my dad. <laughs> 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 and yet, I'm doable. And yet, I'm doable. When you do know. Oh, that's good. Isn't that nice? Catch that up, Phil. That's true. Yeah, that's, that's the dessert footage. You're not, not wearing pants footage. now. Yeah. So yeah. I'm not. <laughs> that's why I'm sitting at this end of the table. I'm not wearing pants. Pantsless spike. I don't know what's going on in there, but. You thought he died, you know? He just lost his pants. He came back and Cowboy be bear. <laughs> Forget about it. Ah, uh, uh, good times. Who are you again? Uh, I remember nothing. <laughs> and what have you got? And nothing. Because <laughs> Fei took it all. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Nice, good timing. <laughs> you know how we feel about points on timing. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Since we've been traveling together, oh, that's we've been great. issuing big points for timing. Mm, yeah. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. you did not have the yeah. pleasure of flying with us. No, I didn't. We oh. were quite a threesome. Oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> you know, she's seen two seats over and I'm texting her and I didn't know. <laughs> there was really? never a, a bow moment. There was never a dull <laughs> moment. Never, never a bow moment. moment. Never <laughs> It's we always a bow moment. I was in between the two of you. She was Poor baby. It did not stop for four and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as there'd be a lull. It was great. And we're like, oh, we need to text Steve. Oh, we're oh, missing Steve. Oh, and then we thought, where would you have sat? Oh, 
I remember. We when was your you. set? Mm-hmm. You would have been like across the aisle, so uh, maybe, you know. I'm on time. deadline for a script. <laughs> I'm trying desperately to work. I'm oh, also going, right. but you know, there was this time. <laughs> and he's like, oh, my God. I'll let you work in a bit. I'm trying, but I'll let you work. Okay, okay. And I'm like, no, I can't <laughs> shut up any longer. <laughs> Both of you have talked constantly <laughs> for the last three hours. <laughs> I'm happy. We're going to have I the opportunity have to do that again I soon. loved it. Yeah. Are we, yes, we going to get a booking? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. yes, I've been uh, I've been talking to somebody about getting us on the road yeah. as a group. Road, yeah. Oh, beautiful. Yes. And do a tour. And do a tour. Bebop on time. tour. Yeah. Bebop right on tour. Yeah, you know, right in your show business career, you become best friends with people, then you don't remember who they are. Yeah, yeah. You know, that yeah. Kind of thing. You're in the production zone. Everything's yeah. tight. Yeah. You're right. Tight, you know, tight. You're my new best friend. And what was your name again? <laughs> yeah. and, uh, I don't have time for you. But here we are. This 15 is, years later. I know. This is the only cast, especially in anime, yes. that I ever even really kept in contact with yeah. mm-hmm. everybody. That's right. Yeah. But we all, all still years. work together. Yeah, I know. We, we all still work right. together. But never together. in the same room. But never, yeah, right. never in the same room. As one, one of the time. Right. Yeah, one of right. this way. But never, like, we've never worked together. No, maybe on a group thing, maybe once in a while, yeah. maybe. But yeah. I, I don't mm-hmm. even know. We don't have that luxury, but we have also had longevity in this business when there was a time where they had walla groups and you could be together yep. for that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, You could be waiting in the lobby while someone else is finishing. You have more opportunity to see each other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The business has changed quite a bit, yeah. so we don't really have those opportunities anymore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I was an antisocial schmuck back then. <laughs> yeah, I kind of. No, you were very involved in coaching your kids. That's what it was. Teams. Yeah, yes. yeah, that's what you it was. Being you being a good dad. Yeah, children. did I tell you I have no children? And that you was an excuse. For a long time, I didn't. It was temporary. You thought well, yeah. you were just dabbling in this. <laughs> oh, no, no, I was. No, because he would always tell me, "I'm not an actor." I know. If you yeah. say that to me one more time, <laughs> I will kick you squarely in the balls. Yeah, she literally threatened me. Well, she if you keep saying this, then we're going to make you demonstrate what you are, and what you were was a musician. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's starting to come back. Good, I'm so good, happy good, to hear good. that. Thanks to you. Great. I'm so Great. happy to hear when that. When are we that? Well, we did a, sh- we we did a, did a show, show together. At, at Anime Expo this year. We played we Club Nokia blue. together. Okay, oh, guys, we did, like, one of my favorite, you know, uh, moments of the show was uh, previewing this last moment with Spike and Bang. And we did one oh, take, from what I remember, maybe two, but I think one's the one we used. And then I just let the credits roll. I was like, playback. And we had the M&E track, so we had access to just the music and effects. So bang, boom, and then the song blew. Uh, oh, starts from that song. And mm. it's so exquisite. So at Anime Expo this year, we got to, um, with Raj, we got to sing, oh. I got to sing Blue with Steve yeah. oh, playing. Wow. We love Raj. And Raj Ramaya. Raj, oh, who we met right. yes. in Memphis. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And he yeah. sang, he did a He's set. so wonderful. Yeah, and we yeah. sang Call Me, Call Me when Ed leaves. Oh. We did oh. three part oh. harmonies to that. Oh, you guys. Do yeah. you have that on tape? You were singing? Somewhere? So, I was yeah. singing I background vocal right and playing drum. Yeah. Oh, you were playing drums. I thought yeah. you were playing guitar. Were you playing drums? I did. He both. played guitar. Oh, okay. nice. Neither fantastic. one well, but both. Yes. No. Yeah. <laughs> as long as you feel it, man. As long as you feel it. I, yeah, I was That'd banging. Really I was banging my drum. Do you have a cajon? Yeah. He has cajon. Two. <laughs> I have two, and thanks for asking. Would you like to see them? <laughs> All right. Let's get it over with. We're close enough now. Yeah. You have Here it comes. Yes, I You brought them out. I don't leave one without them. Now that I'm not married anymore, I'm allowed to bring them out of the house. You're allowed to bring them out of the house. They're totally yours. All the other guys are bringing them. Right. You guys have theirs. Come on. I have a djembe and a dumbe. Oh, a djembe and a dumbe. Yes. Bongos. Beautiful. Oh, nice. I just have to come over to my house. And I played your 12 string, which is beautiful. Oh, 12 string. I got in Mexico City. Yeah. Yeah. On your tour there. My tour. Yeah. Mexico yeah. oh, City? Yeah. Tell me about that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Mary. Some S- Silent Hill stuff I've been singing with. Superstar. Yeah. Rock star. I'm 47 and I'm a rock star. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I threw out my hip. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hell yeah. Fabulous. Can't do the twist anymore. No. <laughs> you know, I never did it well in the never first place. Never did it well. So who cares? <laughs> 15 years. It's a long time. It's a long mm-hmm. time. And it's so much fun to continue to work with you guys mm-hmm. uh, as actor, as director, as everything, but also to see where you all have gone. You know, it's just, I remember being on a plane watching a Miley Cyrus movie going, Oh! <laughs> 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 the highlight of my career. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
is amazing. Yeah. You know, yeah, and hearing all you guys. It's fun. Mm-hmm. It's fun. We've just all been very blessed in, in life and in the business. You know. It's nice yeah. to have been able to stay alive in the business. Yeah. 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 I mean, we're in a, a microcosm of entertainment proper, is mm-hmm. the way I always feel. We sort of are this little branch, this outlining outcrop of the mm-hmm. corner in the other side of the cul-de-sac of the business. So I just feel like, you know, <laughs> I don't want to tell people I'm an actor. When I'm traveling and I meet someone, I'll tell them I'm a writer, I sing, I'm a choreographer. I'll tell them anything but being an actor because, you know, this follow-up question. Mm-hmm. What have you done? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are you on? What do you I get into it. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 furthermore, voice how over. can I get yeah. in? Yeah. yeah. Especially voiceover. Yeah. Exactly. People have told me that I have a great voice. That's right. Yeah. How do I get into voiceover? Mm-hmm. Yes. That's it. Well, learn to act and <clears throat> learn that for Imagine years. that. Yeah. Well, we're recruiting yeah. a lot of people, talent from a fan pool now, which oh. I have a lot of trouble with. Oh. But I'm open to anybody that works hard and follows their dream. I mean, I get that. Absolutely. But yeah. That's how we that, that we have longevity in this very large umbrella, and Bo, you cross over much more so than than most of us yeah. in uh, in doing on camera and doing everything else. And Mary and I have been very diverse in trying our hand at many other things to be able to have longevity in our business because there's more roles for men, of course. Yeah. And to think that after all this time, we're still able to still be very happy, secure in our work, mm-hmm. to have this foundation of friendship. Oh, yeah. Yeah. it's such a blessing. Mm-hmm. I embrace it so much. And, yeah. and my husband, Robert, has helped me a lot with that. Mm-hmm. We've talked about that, mm-hmm. um, of thinking thinking sort of like, oh, this little anime thing that we do. And Robert would say, you know, I, I wouldn't... I wouldn't put anything negative on that. Yes, Yes. it's very important to people, and you play a big part in it, and it's an honor. And it's like, yeah, yeah, you're right. (laughs) You're right. I appreciate it so much. It's great storytelling. And we've had the uh, we've had the uh, the luxury of with Facebook to be able to interact with fans a long distance, in addition to you know going to the cons, but you know to get uh, get a, a tag from somebody. Argentina and yeah. England Czechoslovakia. or Czechoslovakia, yeah. Tunisia. Yeah. I mean, it's just astonishing. And it's, I call it love. It's just mm-hmm. getting love from all over the world from, from, from folks, you know. Because mm-hmm. I can't, it's never anything negative. No. No, no. no. And then, so it's just. Uh, well, they tell me negative stuff about you, but not much. <laughs> well, it's pretty to tell. You know what I'm saying? Perception. I try to spin it nicely. <laughs> I'm glad I have you in my corner. Oh, I got no. your back. I got your back, baby. Okay, yeah, I appreciate that. And I need that. I need it big time. You know, my son. My son told me something years ago. He said, and he's referring to the athletic world and different areas of my life. He said, Dad, you know, the older you get, the better you used to be. <laughs> what? He said, your stories are growing. <laughs> That's awesome. That's, That's great. great. That's okay. All right. You're just saying I'm right. a good storyteller. Yeah, That's good. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 Call them as I see them, you know? Yeah. <laughs> All about the spin. Oh, that's so fun. <laughs> yeah. And then Melissa with your musical theater. Oh, oh my gosh. I Broadway. got to see her on Broadway. Broadway. In yeah. Wicked. And it just, I mm. cried, I cried, I cried. And then out here at the Pantages, here comes Melissa yeah. as Glinda in the freaking bubble. And oh, all of us is a whole Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey was talking about that the other day. You did, yeah, oh, when Mike, you were doing it advantageous. I'll never forget that. Yeah, I, I'll never forget all you guys who came, and it was it was unbelievable. Because yeah. that was kind of like a dream come true when it happened, yeah. and it was everything aligned, and it was great. Mm-hmm. But, what I, but what I was going to say was when I was in New York, first doing Wicked was when the movie came out, the Cowboy Bebop movie yeah. came out. And mm. I think I flew home to do something... Oh, to do some features or something? I can't remember when I flew home to L.A. to do something for the movie. I felt like, did we do some, Or maybe we filmed it, all the things that we were... Some I don't know, something that we did. We did a premiere. Did. We did a premiere. premiere. I might have but it was in New York. New York Times was But it was in Times Square when I was working on Wicked yeah. in New York. And I'll never forget this, like, epiphany that happened when a fan came up, you know, to the stage door, and they're usually going up to Adina Menzel or to Christy Chenoweth mm. or, you know, Joel Grey, you know, mm. surrounded by all these great people. Someone came up to me and and said, are you Elizabeth 
And I was like, yeah, I was wearing the big hat. And they said, oh my God, you were in Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> and the movie is out right now. And oh my God, I can't believe I met you. And it, I, it was like this epiphany because I had never really had that with fans. No. I never really yeah. with anime yeah. fans. Full circle. And it just mm-hmm. came around to this other part of my life that I love so much doing theater. And I was like, oh my God. And then after that, it was unbelievable. The fan fan kids who came to see Wicked were also huge anime fans. Wow. And it just kind of crossed. Mm. They're all, and it, they're it was, all it was unbelievable. Together. It was yeah. unbelievable. That must but have been some experience. I'll never forget that time because it was in Times Square and I was uh. working and it was Aww, really amazing. I mean, that's, that's show business. I Times know. Square. Yeah. 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 I, I went yeah. to the premiere with Yutaka and oh it was God. just as Yoko Kano was there and yes. Watanabe saw it. Oh, in New York? And they introduced me and I was like, hi. <laughs> and I got to meet Steve Conte afterwards, who sang oh, Call Me, wow. Call Me, and Rain, and I just, it was like, everybody was done, and I, and I looked at him, and I, and I said, are, are you Steve Conte? And he said, yes. I said, I'm, I'm Mary Elizabeth, I directed, I directed the, the dub, and he was like, ah! and we both screamed and just wrapped around each other. I was like, oh, I'm a fan. He goes, no, I'm a huge fan. And it was just that moment, and my parents were there, so it was one of those oh, great oh, where they were just so proud. I mean, it was well, you know, great. It's like this part of the business, like what, what we were saying, Wendy. It's like we're this this kind of outer corner of of the business of of what we do, but yet we're not because yeah. we're finding out as the years go by how some of these great projects like this one have affected so many people and yeah, it has come back to us and it's so humbling as an actor you're, you're like oh my god this is amazing that this little you know we were in this little booth yeah in yes. Burbank in you our know, pajamas across from Porto's <laughs> right. Right? and sometimes you know? in that booth where you had to go in sideways because it wasn't big yeah. enough yeah. To, <laughs> it wasn't big enough to even get in there yeah, you know? I know but yeah, Kappa yeah. was good we had a bit of Kappa was, yeah. Kappa was good yeah. yeah but who yeah. would have thunk it but parents are sharing it with their children now oh, and some yeah. of these Oh, yeah. I was yeah. at okay. Disney. You see people coming to the convention. Yeah. It was, it's amazing. I was at Disney the other day doing an audition, and two executives came out of their offices while I was in the kitchen, pouring a cup of coffee. And they said, Excuse me, oh. the guy that did Cowboy Bebop. Oh. I know, you have to repeat that. Oh. <laughs> that was too good. That one again. Yeah. 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 So this is what right. happened at Disney. Tell us, so you I was at Disney. You were at Disney the other day. I was at Don't Disney the other day, okay. auditioning. All right. Auditioning. Okay. Auditioning. Storming yes. the castle. Storming the castle at Disney. Yes. 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 I was pouring a cup of coffee. All right. It was automatic, so technically I wasn't pouring it. <laughs> I'm standing there. <laughs> I'm standing there, and this guy comes out of his office. The first guy comes up to me out of his office. With glasses and a suit and tie and the the the, the uh, badge, the official Disney badge on. He's an executive sitting in his office, and he heard that I was there auditioning. And he comes up to me and he goes, "Excuse me, are you Steve Bloom?" And I, I said, "Yeah." And I thought I was in trouble. I thought, I <laughs> "You're parking the wrong place." That's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and he goes, "Dude, I just have to tell you, I'm the biggest cowboy bebop fan." Mm-hmm. Oh, and wow. and and then another executive came out, and then another actor. <laughs> came up to me as he's coming out of the booth and I'm about to go in and he a young guy and it's his first time reading for anything oh. anything big at all and he's at Disney and I'm, mm-hmm. I'm congratulating him on being there at Disney yeah. Just the only he goes to yeah. he goes I love everything you've done but Cowboy Bebop changed my life oh, oh yeah. really? it's part of my it's my childhood right and, yeah. and right. at cons I hear that so often it's right. my childhood mm-hmm. and to it's be so to involved so in a positive way so old at the same and time yeah <laughs> yeah and I was, I was yeah. Yeah. And, I was, yeah. and I was and that guy was 45 <laughs> <laughs> Right here, yeah. <laughs> and he introduced me to his yeah. grandchildren. Yeah. He brought me through my yeah. through my teenage years. That's what I've, I've, I've yeah. heard that you. you know, yeah. I went through my teenage years, you know, and blah blah blah. And that guy was sixty. Yeah. Yes, you know, I'm older than I thought. You know. Oh, my, when somebody tells me that I was their childhood, I always say, "And look how nicely you've turned out despite oh, that." Just <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just shocked that you're yeah. still alive. I thought you were going to say, and I raised you well. Yes, yes. Yeah, I'm taking full credit for that. I'm taking full credit. Yeah. Or, I, or 
I say apologize to your parents for it. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for getting in the mix. probably the ones that got them into it. Could yeah. be. That's Very much. Right. And nowadays, that's, that's, that's the truth. Yeah. 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 yeah it's just, it's, it's just I hate astonishing. Kids, you know, kids coming up saying, this is for my mom. Will you sign it? Uh, yeah. Like, Absolutely. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Yeah. That's so a, yeah, that's and when you write to my mom, I love the kind of woman that can kick my ass. Oh, that's a little uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> a little uncomfortable. I'm not going to bang your mom, I'm sorry. Can't, can't do it. Can't do it. All right. She's obsessed with the ending. Yeah. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, it's not that little, bang. It's one little bang. One little bang. Just don't tell your dad. Yeah, right. Please. Danger. It's a game. She got sober. way high before she got here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, she doesn't realize the water was sneaking out. I'll be right back. You don't realize that, that water was spiked. Spiked. Uh, <laughs> spiked. Oh, was it ever? I'm sorry about that. It. it was spiked. Yeah. yeah. That's right. It's mushroom samba water. Mushroom samba water. You walk in a stairway and you're talking to a frog. Yeah. All the time. That's right. Oh I remember. I had, Jet had a line in that the, the mushroom samba. He said, uh, At the end. Yeah, you know, he said, uh, No, he's like, yeah. Who am I, anyway? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My favorite thing is when we, we really played with Mark's amazing script, and we did one take at the end when there's nothing but mushrooms to eat, uh -huh. and you're like, there's this, there's this, <laughs> and shiitake on ice. And I was like, good, we got it as written. So let's do one where you really emphasize the shit on shit. <laughs> Taki on ice. Taki on ice. Did you use that one? And we did. And I, and I, I kept it in, <laughs> and I remember doing the QC with Yutaka. He laughed so so hard, and I was like, is it okay? Yes, can we use it? it? He goes, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Because it's not technically saying shit, it's, it's shit. shit. Talkie on ice. But we did cuss a little bit in the show, right? Yeah, we said damn. There were a few episodes. I thought we said shit in the show. We said it in the movie. Yeah, we did. I we said, did. you take right, too yeah. long to take a shit after, yeah. after my little uh, oh, yeah. interaction okay. with you, my little intercourse with you. What? <laughs> uh, right. It's a it's a appropriate word to use there. So I guess we're more, I guess we're looking at the gladiators. It's okay that you ask. Uh, jet, not if you ask yet. That's right. No. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, true. Oh, that's, that's true. true. that's true. Yeah, that's just right. But I get a lot of questions about Ed, and they just say, how did you guys come up with that? And it was just like, I felt like there was, I felt like even Rick wasn't there when, when you and I were in the booth, because yeah. I just felt like, play. All right, do one straight, that's yeah. great, fine, good, awesome, got it, where we're talking. Now, because I knew your musical theater background, and I knew what an amazing singer you were, and just, just, we just play. played, but we had a great, like, organic kind of, back and forth, back and forth, and you just let me go, and you'd say, okay, don't try this, and, try, and we were just kind of amusing each other. Yeah, uh -huh. like, we just made each other laugh. You improv the melodies, too, right? Yeah, we yeah. improv them, yeah. and there were some things, what was the only, there was one that, the circles and eyeballs, that's from the movie, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that was an actual melody that yeah. they had, but everything else, we just improvised, and I'd yeah. around, and, and, and... we did a lot more music we, than... We did a lot of sing-songy stuff. Than was in the Japanese. I yeah. think we would yeah, try yeah. things, if I'm remembering correctly, we would try things straight, and then you'd say, okay, no, what would happen if she just kind of sang this? Mm -hmm. what, would she, what would it sound like if she kind of bounced around and did that? And mm -hmm. I just just remember always watching Ed, like she was a rubber hose, old-fashioned yeah. character, yes. like, a, like mm -hmm. a Fleischer, you know, uh -huh. character. Yeah. And she was just so fluid that we just had a great time. Mm -hmm. We did. Yeah. We had a great yeah. time. Yeah. The body language is just, it's just, I just love it. It lends itself it. to yeah, the yeah. voice. So you, you watch yeah. it, and because people ask me that a lot, how did you come up with her voice? How did how did you do it? And, and what was it? And I can't quite describe it. Just that we had this great interchange back and forth, back and forth. Because it's not just the actor; it's the director. And I always give mm -hmm. you kudos, Mary, because you are mm -hmm. the best director I've ever worked with. You oh. really, because you're an actor and you're a singer, and that's more wine. Imagine if she was drinking. Uh, yeah. Have some more wine. I love you. I love you more. Yeah, you help me create her. 
I just felt like we had such freedom on the show. There was nobody there. Like you talk, his brother Sam would be there sometimes, yeah. but there was Silent nobody. Judging. Yeah, that's right. There it's was nobody judging. there, so we could just we could just play, yeah. you know, yeah. and do a lot of takes and just play no, no, I think Wendy, you said it. it uh, I wonder if you said that the, the show breathes. Yeah. Because I remember yeah, that, yeah. with the enemy when so when, uh, when, when uh, Jet goes back to Elisa and and all of that, yeah. and we just had time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we mm -hmm. just had time. It wasn't like rushing through, rushing through. And, we got and to create. A, yeah, you got to yeah. create and, 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 uh, and tr really be in the moment and, and, and really tell the story. Yeah. yeah. Was, and dig down because it was such, it was, uh, hopefully it was safe that you guys yeah. felt safe. Oh, yeah. You, know? you, made, it, you yeah. made it so Always. cool. Yeah. Digging, you know, she taught because... me how to act on the show. I mean, literally, that's what I felt <laughs> my time was being, that's how my time was being used. But honestly, I, yeah. I, was, I was pretty green. Mm -hmm. And to take on a role like that, to take on a leading role yeah, leading in a role, show, that's, that's a lot. I was terrified all the time, and she just you made me feel comfortable, and you, you taught me how to do it, mm -hmm. really, especially in the more intimate scenes, mm -hmm. that was really uncomfortable for me. I was used to doing the broad stuff, the creatures and all that. Oh, yeah. really? But to actually have quiet moments with yeah. the character who's kind of torn up like that, I and mean, that takes some acting skill. Yeah. I didn't have that. I didn't have that training, so. Well, mm -hmm. It's the first time I'd seen a show where he had it. I mean, Faye has some amazing moments of just. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, uh, at the end, when we get your backstory, together, everything yes. is just specially, yeah. You know, to see the shyster and then all of a sudden <laughs> yeah. have to peel away the onion layers. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I know. And yeah. to and to find out that she had been hiding so much and that there was such a reason for her hard shell exterior and using her sexuality and being so playing it so much in a man's world and being a contender. Yeah. And really that she had so much to cover up and to hide all her vulnerabilities mm -hmm. and how really damaged she was just made me love her so much more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how the show wasn't afraid to kind of just linger in some of those moments and not fill everything with fast edits. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. sort of a form of storytelling that's gone by in many ways. I think yeah. that people find it refreshing yeah. that you can just kind of sit back with it and there's not always going to be something to go, look over here, look over here, now do this, this is what we're telling you to do. You observe and you follow the story and the stage pictures as you choose. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, that that was really refreshing. Mm -hmm. I remember this great scene at the bar when you're talking to the bartender and you start hearing about Julia. And, oh. and you would argue, it's the first time you're really sort of invested in Spike. And it was just these great scenes of Faye just leaning on the bar in these intimate moments with the saxophone playing in the background oh, and it was right. just yeah. oh, it took my breath away yeah. <laughs> yeah. Goodness. it was yeah. just amazing not to mention the ending I remember when we recorded the last episode and you said don't look ahead no nope. don't, 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 don't look ahead don't look ahead don't look ahead and I was like what well of course I'm, no wait a minute no I'm down yeah let's not look ahead let's just discover it as we go as yeah we go, right? yes. and we got to the ending and the fireball They came out, you're like, I'm gonna smoke. I'm like, yeah, me too. I don't even smoke. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Let's watch it again. Yeah. Yeah, right, yeah. 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 All I was Jeez. thinking was wow. Spike never got to hook it with Faye. Okay, now what's Thanks. that about? Yeah. Thanks a lot. Yeah. That no. can't even happen in, in but animation. That, but that was that was an amazing <laughs> choice on you know, on Watanabe's part, not, not, yeah, to, not go to go there, there between yeah. those two. It was all was of that sexual. energy, there was, there was so much energy that was, was sort of on the fringes. It was really true. It wasn't sort of insinuated, but it, was, it never went there. Mm -hmm. right. well, that was amazing. And all the characters had some kind of sensual thing going on, but yeah. it was never overt. I mean, it was for Faye because she would utilize that. She yeah. harnessed it. But yeah. Spike was incredibly sexy by just his presence. Mm. Yeah, well, They're... I tried to get that in. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't have to try yeah. too hard, baby. Well, yeah. I, no, you did. Not, you know, that, that, uh, was, like that was one of the distinctions that was made like take between the, 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 that. the original Japanese and our edit, that you were, were sexy mm -hmm. and that the Japanese spike was not. Oh, that's uh -huh. a good point. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. He Somebody... was amazing, but he was very different. I talked yeah. about that a lot. Oh, really our was. dub was really different from Somebody... the Japanese, but oh. still, it was like an American version. Right, yeah. That's right. And somebody, I don't remember who it was, it was a Japanese woman who was somehow involved with the project huh. in Japan. How could Spike not be sexy? Just... I don't know. You brought something that he well, didn't he, bring. Maybe he was you know? cool. He yeah. was cool. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm, definitely. You know what it is? I got it. You know what they say in Hollywood, you know, you 
you've got it. Yeah. I didn't even know it at the time either. I mean, kind of frustrated. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know. No, this, this is acting right here. You know? He knows what he's got. I never heard that before, though. Oh, no, yeah? Wow. Yeah, because I, I, I did some research. Mm. And then that's, that. I can't remember. If you want to look it up, yeah, you know, you I can will find now. it. Yeah, you yeah. can find yeah. it. There's yeah. a Japanese woman who somehow was involved with a project in Japan huh. said that, made that statement. Oh, I like hearing uh -huh. that actually a lot. Yeah, I do too. I do too. Because That's we nice. maintained the spirit of the writing in the show, but we still brought it and brought we it. added another layer yeah. to what yeah. was already established, yeah. definitely. Mm -hmm. no, yeah. yeah, because the um, Japanese actress who plays Faye, uh, I'll never forget, on the extras, she says her first impression of Faye was that she was so vulgar. And oh. to me, my okay. first impression was like, oh, yeah, yeah. she's mine. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I feel this girl. I uh -huh. get her. I see what she's, the layers of complexity. I get oh, this yeah. right yeah. away. You yeah. added such a strong, to me, and I loved all the performances, uh, all the Japanese performances, but there was this kick-ass, deep-rooted <laughs> femininity to you that you brought to Faye that was not in the Japanese Wow. Version. And it was just mm -hmm. like... What? I mean, yeah. it was so yeah. much yeah. fun, Be yeah. especially on a ship of damaged goods. Yeah, like, absolutely. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. So Eba true. was a ship of damaged absolutely. people, and yeah. I think as like as I get older in life, I realize, oh shit, we're all damaged. Yeah. But oh, yeah. you know, and you find the people that that you're copacetic with, and you're you know level of damage as it were. Yeah. 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 Yes, absolutely. Yes. 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 And We've all got pain in our background. Yeah. Yeah. And this was such a perfect history. balance of four characters that had had different levels and intensities of damage that just fit <clears throat> perfectly yeah. and reluctantly. And yeah. like, yeah. like but, uh, I mean, Jet was so reluctant the mm -hmm. whole time of yeah. having the kid and the yeah. dog yeah. and yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 What would I do without him? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> He's the guy who sits there and trims a bonsai every day. Yeah. Yeah. That's brilliant. Right. That's, that was <laughs> meditation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That was... Thank God Kevin cast such a damaged actor. Oh, I know. Oh, right. The casting was kind of the, cast, the casting was kind of genius, though. I mean, look at the yeah. chemistry. Yeah. Fifteen years later, right. he, yeah. Yeah. there's something about Kevin that. Yeah. That's that's because why he was that's right. too talented. Because yeah. he yeah. was a fan. Yeah. He appreciated the art form yeah. so much in addition to becoming such a grand professional yeah. at yeah. what he honed yeah. and to figure out how to put all the pieces together and for us to not even audition. I yeah. mean, it, right. yeah. Yeah. it's yeah, pretty remarkable. Yeah. But as I Lies. said, who else would have played Jet? I know. No. Yeah. I know. <laughs> really? I know. Do you know? I, know well, I was really happy, very, very happy to get, to get cast. And we were... I don't know if you remember our first session. We were, I was thinking all of this, you know, what kind of voice is he? You know, he says, <laughs> maybe he has a southern accent. And she said, she's thinking, yeah, after the fact, is just use your voice, Bo. Just I said, well, that's boring. He said, no, no, just you know, we don't have to go over here and over there. Just let's. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. And uh, you were just absolutely right. Yeah. You know, I mean, it was just... It was perfect it was just casting. Perfect. Yeah. Unique and but you still, yeah, developed yeah. a texture for him yeah. that I haven't heard you use with any other character. Probably not, yeah. 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 And we were still working on... Were you were working with me on Outlaw Star? Outlaw Star. Yeah. 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 That's right. We were yeah. working on that at the same time. Yeah. I yeah. Think, I think you all were on it, yeah. weren't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. Did you come yeah. in on Outlaw Star? No, I don't think so. Mm -mm. What was it called? Outlaw Star. Outlaw Star. I don't think it did. We were also doing Fushugi Yugi. Oh, yeah. With uh, oh, yeah. Bridget. Oh, yeah. With Bridget. Yeah. Bridget was directing yeah. Yeah. There was a lot of overlap <laughs> at the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was sort yeah. of a big peak, a surge of anime really taking off for us. Yeah. And women directors. Yeah. And women yeah. directors. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Actors, yeah. Directing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. actors directing. You guys. Yeah. Actors directing actors that really could yeah. have started. Yeah. 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 Cross yeah. over there. And for me, yeah. Difference. Yeah. made a huge yeah. difference. I remember I was really impressed when I found out that you would going to New Zealand to do a Xena. Xena! <laughs> the warrior princess. Oh. <laughs> I had done a lot of Walla for Xena and for uh, Hercules. I did too. Oh, with for yeah. Doug Stone. Yeah. 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 You know, yeah. yeah. All those fights, he's... Yeah. Yeah. And all that Still stuff. Still getting residual. And when you said that you had done... I said, oh! I, you know, I was a fanboy. You know, I just yeah. Went, yeah. boom, right into yeah. the fanboy yeah. guy. Really? Like, what is it? Why? She said, no, I get tired of that on camera and, and thing. Got injured. Yeah. I got injured on Xena, and that's how I started doing voiceover. Oh, is that right? The horse I was being... I did. No, of course I was being hanged on, reared up and fell on top of me, dislocated my kneecap, and I was 
I was doing like the Beetlejuice Rock and Graveyard review up at Universal at the time, and I came home and I was like, well, I can't really do that for a while. So Peter Spellos recommended me to Zero Limit. Peter, he did. Oh, and that was wow. it. They're like, they're looking for new voices. And I wow. Said, oh, Amazing. So that was the connection with Zena. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So we all worked on Zena. You guys all. Yeah, a, a little bit on looping. Some, I did yeah. have Hercules. We were down there out. on, what was it, uh, <laughs> down <laughs> south of uh, Washington Boulevard yeah. or something down there yeah. by the oil fields. The farthest oh, possible yeah. studio you could Yeah, yeah right. Yes, yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 But I, I remember how loud the arrow hits had to be. You're, you're like taking an arrow to the arm oh. and oh, 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 yeah, you fall out of the tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hyper volume. That was really, that was really rough on the vocals. Yes, it was. Oh, <laughs> really yeah. vocal. Yeah, yeah. 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 those shows was rough. rough. Yeah, yeah, definitely. What a great group. Oh, it was. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was a lot of fun. Doug Stone. Stone. I mean, Doug is. Yeah. Doug got me started back when we were doing uh, at Intersound yeah. down on the Sunset. Yeah. When we were doing, oh, uh, yeah. we were dubbing a live action. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, yeah, really yeah. Indonesian African films. Accent. Right. Yes. Yeah. Small films. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then remember we started doing Jackie Chan's films. That's yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. We could that nobody could awesome. believe this guy. What yeah. is he doing? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Jackie Chan. He's gonna be a star. <laughs> that guy's gonna be a star. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, Doug. Doug is the one to drag me into this this realm. How wow. did you know Doug? I'm trying to figure out how we first, very first met. I can't remember how it was, but I remember we were down in Interson and I was doing the African I didn't accent. Know you were working wow. there. I don't think I knew you there. Yeah, I don't oh, think so. It was, amazing. Was Dave Mello with him at the time? They used to be sort of a writing Dave team. Dave and writing, I think Dave directing. was. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, those guys taught me how to. Synonymous. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what? Mona Marshall came in on a session. Oh, yeah. I watched Marshall. her for the first time. Did, yeah. It was a master class just sitting oh, there. Yeah. Yeah. And remember, yes. you know, we had we didn't yes. even have beeps. No, we had time codes. Oh, the cave. Yeah. You had the time codes. I didn't work at the cave. It was my first time doing anything ever. What? Was at the cave. On the Giver. That was the first time I had ever done anime. Yeah. Was on Giver. That was the first time I had ever acted. It was on the Giver. They would tap us on the shoulder when we're supposed to start speaking. You guys you guys remember that? There were no time codes. You guys remember? You guys were on MacGyver? I did. It's a show called Giver. Oh, oh, oh. I felt the same thing. I was like, they were on MacGyver? Yeah, well, I was on MacGyver. I said, you look me. Me, you, know? <laughs> you know, no, we actually had to build the sound equipment for ours, so it was the same sort of thing. Oh, yeah. right. imagine it. <laughs> you know, you got some to, stones. And... We had to carry the equipment up a hill into a treehouse studio that they called the cave. They called it the cave. Oh, they really? Rented wow. this, they okay, rented the Nagra. It? it was on tape. Yes, but wasn't it right by now where, um... Where's the office? Where's the office? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we, we actually... The cave was there? The cave was right yes. near there. Oh, it was right, right, right near there in the yeah. back. And this guy oh. built a... Uh, he was a rock guitar player, and he built a studio in a treehouse. And we literally had to carry a Nagra <laughs> up there in the morning because he would rent it, and he would have to bring it back at the end of oh, each weekend. Oh and then we'd carry it up the next weekend, and we'd all work on the weekends. Oh, it was, it was on the weekend, they paid us right. $7 a line. And they fed us oh. breakfast and lunch, and they brought in all the actors at the same time. All the same time. Wow. There were like 20 wow. of us on there. We had to chase the, chase the, the time chase code. The, no chase the flag. Yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah. Just the time and, code. Yeah. Right. The time code. yeah, and the guy who owned the studio was this crazy rock and roll guy, and he would hang from his knees from the limb of the tree outside the studio with a chainsaw cutting the limbs while we're recording. And he, thought, he thought that was perfectly acceptable. His hair's hanging straight down. <laughs> Dogs are barking. They had to redo the sound on everything. Oh, we, we actually no. redid all of the yes, sound. Yes, that's right. Oh, yeah. right. sort of oh, budgets yeah. we Less were working with. Yeah. 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 Less Claypool's yes. garage. Yeah. Wow. We redid all the sound for everything we recorded. Oh, oh you redid nice. it in, Le in Lesson's garage? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah, that goes. That goes that back. Was <laughs> no, it was that day. I ate so well. Yes. I was a starving musician at the time. <laughs> All right. That, yeah. that was the free best, food. That was the best deal I had. Yeah. 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 Seven dollars an hour. Yeah, I know. <laughs> seven bucks a line. Seven a bucks line. a line. Wow. Yeah. That's a line. Yeah. 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 But with the creature lines, they kind of fleshed out a little bit. I was doing creatures at first. So. Bob Barron. Did you know Bob Barron? Yeah. Bob Barron's the one who set the rate at a dollar a line. Really? Oh, yeah. My God, I started I in the early yeah. 80s, yeah. and they had all, they were all already working at a dollar a line. Oh, yeah. And I went to the first meeting when the actor said, this is it. This is taking off. We have to organize. Let's get together. We want to unionize. 
And we met at a theater, and there was about a hundred of us, and they had Bob Barron and Doug and Michael McConaughey and Dave and a couple other guys were the key guys who led this meeting, and they said, we need to do something about this rate. And what we really want to do is we want to go union, and we also want this rate to increase. And they and I said, I'm one of the new newbies thinking, don't do both at the same time. Don't go for both at the same time. Don't put our producers on corner. And they said, a show of hands, does everybody want the rate to increase? Everybody's hands up. Does everybody want to unionize? Half the hands went up. They said, well, obviously we want to do both, so we're moving forward with both. And all the work went to Canada. Oh. Overnight. Overnight. And that was the beginning of Ocean and everything else that happened in wow. Canada. Oh, my gosh. So there was about a three-year downturn of almost no work at all. Wow. It was oh. really frightening. Wow. And it took us a long time to get SAG to realize this was a legitimate pocket that needed a contract. And foreign dubbing is still, what, hobbling along. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Child, yeah. so to speak. Gimping yeah. along. Yeah. It makes yeah. no yeah. sense, because I've talked to many <laughs> actors... Um, who've done, who do mostly animation and who've been in some very huge movies and they're just like, I don't understand how you do this every day. It's so hard, Mary. <laughs> how do you do ADR? It's so hard. It's impossible. And I was like, well, that's what we do. And that's what these amazing actors do every single day. It's just, oh, the original and everything else. But I, I always feel like ADR is, is a great way to hone your craft. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Unbelievable way yes. to just practice recreating reads but adding a little bit of time to it or subtracting mm -hmm. a little bit of time or adding another flavor in a constrained amount of time. It's remarkable. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, also, it. and also just the technical aspect of just getting out of the page yeah. as an actor. Yeah. Just getting out. Cold mm -hmm. reading yeah. and right. boom. And mm -hmm. getting out there and, and creating a character mm -hmm. right. that fast. It's mm -hmm. like playing an instrument. We really are sort yeah. of fine musicians in many ways mm -hmm. because of the right brain, left brain discipline mm -hmm. and that we have to create this stuff instantly. You can't prepare for it. You can't memorize anything yeah you've got to come in ready to go as an open palette ready to play and to rock it in your first or second take mm -hmm. yeah. and that's why so many of us are still doing it over mm -hmm. and yeah. over to this day because uh, <laughs> yeah. it's a springboard i mean I, you know people come back and roger greg smith he comes back and he's like oh this is hard oh, i remember this is hard <laughs> i directed his first film oh, and he oh was yeah, yeah he yeah. didn't want to be a stand-up comedian anymore exactly mm -hmm. And he's yeah. like, this is really hard. I said, you really got what it takes. Let's make this work. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So it's just patience. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the, the tediousness of some of the work, um, you know, when I was narrating some shows on the uh, on the History Channel, it was, I was thinking, boy, this is tedious, you know. <laughs> yeah. and, then, and then I saw they were advertising this guy read the Bible. Oh. oh. <laughs> they had the Bible on CDs. And I was thinking, can you imagine that? Yeah, we're talking about tedious. Okay, let's start with Genesis. The book is that big. You know what I mean? It's like and the print is not really that big. I hope yeah. he got a, I hope he had enlarged the but I was just thinking, but what an endeavor that would have been yeah. to yeah. read the Bible yeah. and to, uh, I mean, the people who do the, Any the, kind the of books, books on tape, tape. Yeah, books on tape. Yeah. I don't know I, how I, they do that. It's amazing. I know. It's some amazing. brilliant books on yeah. tape. Some yeah. amazing books yeah. on tape, but I don't know how to do that. I auditioned oh. once, and I just realized this is not for me. Yeah. And it is another yeah. branch of the industry where the budgets are very low, and yeah. the demand is extremely high. And you do it yeah. at home. You know, yes. you do it at home in your, in your own And isn't hours, there something you know? about, about what's actually usable versus the time that you spend I think Dan told me that. Oh, oh I no. see. Really? Yeah, what you actually, what you actually... Oh, right, what you're paid by completed page. Completed yeah. page correct, as opposed correct. to time, oh, time that it takes you to do it. And they yeah. want, if right? you're doing it at home, you're doing your own editing, you're doing all your own recordings. So oh, yeah. You know, three yeah. times uh, it's, yeah, it's, the length of a page. Some people had mentioned to me, why don't you do books on tape? I said, you know, that's not my thing. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is supposed to be fun. Oh, You know, yeah. if I want to do something that wasn't fun, I... I don't know, practice law. <laughs> this is supposed to be yeah, fun, yeah. you know? You're sitting there saying, this is not fun. It's time to get X and page left, you know? Yeah. I got to go do something else because this is not fun. Yes, but the funny thing about that is that you are a lawyer. 
Yeah, well. Yeah. 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 You know, I was just thinking about that. I mean, I had this in my bones, you know, performing and stuff. Because I started as a kid, but mm. as an attorney, I lived my life. I practiced law for like six or seven years, and I, my life, I was my professional life was in conflict with people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Constant conflict with people. Yeah. And I was a trial lawyer, you know, and they called it gunslingers. You mm -hmm. know, and so if you you you, you, you restless sleep, everything was just like well, if he does that, then I'll do this. Thing. If he does that, yeah. So he's playing chess. Yeah, yeah, he's playing chess. Yeah, yeah. And, and, right. and dealing with um, phone. Yeah, what are you? No, no, no. I was, you know, are you in pin? You know, okay, yeah, call, call me back. You know, and just like conflict, conflict, conflict. And um, I was lucky enough to have this wonderful childhood that I wasn't. My childhood was just like you couldn't write a better childhood. And uh, here I am arguing and fighting and scrapping. <laughs> no, I can't. Uh, this is not, I can't do this my entire life. Yeah, you can't do it because yeah. you're in conflict. Yeah, yeah. Conflict. that's a that's really good my, way to put it. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. my my son practices yeah. law, and I I always ask him, "Is you still like it?" You know, he said, "Yeah, yeah." I said, "Okay, good." Mm -hmm. Some people enjoy that. Yeah, they yeah, do. They yeah, do. Yeah, some people thrive on mm -hmm. it. You know, like um, salesmen. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, they yes. they you know they they love that stuff. Yeah. But yeah. for me personally, I couldn't see myself spending my life. In conflict, arguing with people, and you know, scrapping and this and that, and people yeah. lying to yeah. you, and you find it out, and this, you know, just boom. Well, that's right, what my career right, was before forever. I went into voice over full time too. I was head of marketing for a film company, mm. and the creative part of it was wonderful. But working with executives who wanted to screw everybody else down the line, oh. and spending eighty percent of my working day trying to get vendors paid. Oh. who had oh. bent over backwards and risked everything for the hope that they would, you know, they would lead into something later on. Oh. And then to have them screwed and, and not oh, to be able to do anything hard. about it. No. Yeah, it was awful. It ate me up inside. I didn't and know that. I didn't, yeah. How long did you do that? I was with that company for 14 years. Wow. wow. Yeah. wow. In fact, I, my, first, my first anime job when we worked on the Giver, I was in the mailroom at that place. And the head of the mailroom, Victor Garcia, hired me for my very familiar. first anime job yeah. out of that mailroom. I had the deepest voice in the mailroom. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yes. And I could do a creature. He needed yeah. a creature, so he hired me for that. And I stayed with that company for 14 years. And my I ended brother up... was working with that company. Yes, he was. Wow. We used to see each time? other in the parking lot. The my brother uh, Tommy. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? So you guys, you know. Tom Fon. Say the name of the company. We won't say it. Small world. Small world. Where was that? That was in Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. My brother Tommy was doing that. And Tommy did an amazing episode of Cowboy. <clears throat> yes, he did. Oh, what did he yeah. do? I was oh that was you taught him flow. I was teaching him flow. The whole speech about the flow. The whole yeah, this yeah. Whole, Bruce this Lee beautiful speech. Lee. Yeah. It's my favorite work that I've, I've ever gotten a chance to work with Tommy, and it was just. Amazing, and it's a sort of a tragic nice. end for him. Yeah, yeah. I think his show. character's name is Lee, wasn't it? I think I have it on my cheat sheet somewhere. Oh, I like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But a lot of the characters were named based on the influences. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Well, Cece we were... gave us those great notes with all of those unusual That's facts right. about the. Oh right, yeah, yeah. yeah. the, the uh, so trivia. Fantastic, yeah, yeah the it's trivia. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's remarkable. A lot of symbolic stuff was going on. Yes. The titles, obviously, the right. influence. So many what titles. Of the three men. Of right. the, we were talking about the three men. men. Remember the three old men? Oh, that's right. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and telling all the battle uh, stories. Their names were Antonio, Carlos, and Jobim. From the Brazilian <laughs> yes. guitar player. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, and that's because Watsonabe son was a fan of the, the kind of music. Right, and yeah. he would throw all these little nuances all these in there that right. nobody knew. Yeah. And, and he, and the research he must have done to, to amazing. learn our culture so amazing. much, you know? Yeah. Yeah. With yeah. the music and Aerosmith and, and the, right. the film industry, too. I mean, we did Toys in the Attic, which I'm, I'm hoping we'll read a little bit from. Yeah, yeah. I have Yeah, that's right. Uh, that is basically, it's like 2001 meets Alien. I mean, it's just yeah. this yeah, it is. Uh -huh. yes, beautiful, good, beautiful yeah. movie. And, and, and it's like, and, or at least it, it seemed like a movie when, I, when we were working on it. It's right. just like, because it was just the cast. There were no extraneous people in it except mm -hmm. a Ganymede rock lobster that had been in the fridge right. too long. <laughs> and, uh, and a huge thanks to, to Stephanie Shea for... Uh, oh, yeah. 
for after the tsunami. Um, oh, that's right. Yeah. He got us all that's together right. the first time to read on that's stage right. for I Heart Japan. That's yeah, right. Um, and that was an amazing time. I think that's kind of what got us all kind back together. Kind of brought us all back together again. again. Yeah. 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 So huge, huge Stephanie Shea. Huge. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Huge, huge, huge. Right. Well, let's not forget, our inter- at least my introduction to Stephanie Shea was her first foyer into anime, and she conducted our first round table. Did with she? broccoli. Yes. Oh. Do you remember? We literally sat in a round table and she had a cassette recorder that in the was middle. Stephanie? That was Stephanie Shea before she ever had an audition, ever got into voiceover. Holy shit. She, she was a journalist goodness. at the time. She ran wow. one of the anime clubs at the college she was at. Wow. And she mm-hmm. dreamed that's like, that's of being like the an only actor. Time we all got together. Did you ever do an interview? Mm-hmm. Wasn't it? That was, was that? our first. I was just telling the story. That was, our first that was right? it. And she had an associate that did it with her, but mm-hmm. it was a little Shay Shay being very discreet and mm-hmm. put the cassette in the center and put us in a round table. Wow. That was wow. our first interview we all did together. Yeah. That was years ago. There yeah. haven't yeah. been a lot of awards. Yeah. Yeah. No, there <laughs> haven't. Yeah. 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 There haven't been that many. Yeah, there have not been that many. I mean, there was only there's only one con, right? Yeah. We've only done the one of Just the real one. Yeah. 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 Mary wasn't there, which made it kind of weird. Yeah. Well, now we know we want to look all four of us. Yeah. 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 That one round table, we have Mark Handler there. That's right. I forgot Mark was there. That's right. Oh. Oh, Okay, so again, huge thanks to Stephanie Shea for uh, yes. putting the script together off of Mark Handler's brilliant adaptation. Uh, Stephanie wrote in all of the stage direction and Ein so that we could actually uh, do this on stage for I Heart Japan and other, hopefully, charities in the future. We can all yes. get together to do this. Mm-hmm. And tours. So a little excerpt mm-hmm. from Toys in the Attic. In the attic. Yes. So at this point, there's been something on the ship, uh, and it's been... Uh, uh, shuttling, shuffling through all the air ducts, and uh, at this point, Jet is convinced that he has some, he's been bitten by something. So Spike notices something strange on the back of Jet's neck, where he claimed to have been bitten. It's ugly and purplish. It looks bad and smells stinky. It's awful and it's infected, y'all. Jet is now laid up on the couch. Spike's typing furiously on the computer, doing some research. They're running analysis on something. It was a rat, right? I mean, this is no big deal. Uh, am I wrong? I have no clue. He's got some kind of poison that's not in the database. I'm checking into some similar toxins. Let's see, Cryptospolyseum. No, that's not it. Cholera? Mm-hmm. No, it's not that. <laughs> mm. Mm. Ebola virus. <laughs> nope. Oh. Bifidobacterium. Uh, not even close. So what is it? <laughs> I'm give it a rest, would ya? Well, it's not an ordinary rat. I'm keep quiet. <laughs> so what could it be then? Well. It's, uh... A mystery space creature! (laughs) Mm, Huh? Huh? Spooky! The attack of the horrible alien! Well, yeah, that is possible, I suppose. Yeah, right. (laughs) Then what is it, then? Wait, two thens. Then what is it? (laughs) We got a drink. (laughs) drink. 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 I did too. I just did Take two. Sorry. Then what is it? It's not in the database, right? Well, it. Look, these babies. Sorry, one. Oh, all right. No, 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 no. Sorry. Keep messing up, Ed. Mm-hmm. You're looking great over Look, there. Yeah. These base pairs. <laughs> really? <laughs> And you're sober. You're a kid. I know. Wow. I see like, why well, you don't like, drink. What did you Look, want to say? No, I don't want, want to say it. What, what did you want to say, though? <laughs> I'm having a silly moment. Oh, let it out. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it looked like I want to see these parables. <laughs> these parables. Look, it's parables. 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 Parables.
three. Ahem. Wow. Take three. Okay. <laughs> Look, these base pairs are abnormal. Uh, you think so? Ed has never seen this before. Mm. So what else could it be but a horrible alien, huh? Oh. What? Maybe it's something like a rat went through a mutation and evolved and turned into some kind of unusual creature and... I don't know, secreted this new form of mysterious poison. Mm. Oh, that's brilliant. Right up there with Ed's theory that it's horrible aliens. Really pitiful. <coughs> oh. Hiya! Um, what are we gonna do, Ayn? You believe it's a horrible alien, don't you? <coughs> it's spooky. 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 Are we still talking about Jets balls? Yes. <laughs> 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 They're gone. <laughs> they stole them. Finally, we get some. <laughs> 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 Finally, we get some beef with our bell peppers. I just turned it into a pair of balls. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Doctor Freud. Okay. Okay, Freudy. That's Yay. what the Doctor Freud Theater. Thanks, you guys. Uh, uh, what an uh, unbelievable journey. Thank you, Steve, for getting us all together. Oh, yeah, baby. My, uh, I have one quick correction to make. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Tom Fon's character was called Rocco. Mm hmm. Rocco. 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 Yeah. Rocco. Yes. Brilliant, Tommy. And we love Tommy. Tommy yes. Fon, my yeah. We love oh, my Tommy God. Fon. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> Franklin. Yeah, Franklin. I'm Franklin too. You? Thank you, Funimation, for yeah. allowing Thank us you, to Funimation. do this. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, you. Back together. Thank you so Thanks much. So Before we go, can we just touch upon the fact that Steve thought of this idea? <gasps> yeah. Uh, and what brought it about and how we decided to make this happen this historic moment. Right. 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 Really. Because really. No. Uh, really. Yeah, like See, because yeah. we were we were going to each do our individual interviews and that was gonna be that and we all sort of came together in text and emails thinking this kind of feels a little bit empty. There's more to the yeah. picture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was your idea. idea. All of us yeah, in the same well, room. It tasted well, like real the, food. The other <laughs> thing was doing the the interviews individually. It, it had it felt like it had a serious tone to me, which was right, fine. Right. It's yeah. great. Right. right. But when we get together, there's very little serious going on, <laughs> and we're and we're a family, and that's something I try to describe in the interview. And you can't really describe it unless we're all together. Yeah, and it's true. To yeah, see us together, and it's and this is the beginning, I think, of us actually getting together more often. I hope that happens. Oh yeah. Yes. And we're gonna be touring the world. We're gonna come yes, to see you. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. All I can say yes. is, if you had had a hole in your uh, pants without wearing underwear, oh, your Jesus. interview might have been a little bit more fun. I do right now in solidarity. <laughs> Excellent. Solidarity. Thank you. Okay. Yes. 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 Thank you. And, and once more to Jets Balls. Yeah. Yes. And thank you and, for my and balls. And to Kevin Seymour. To Kevin Seymour and, and, and to Justin Cook for making this all happen. Yeah, Yay. thanks, yeah. Justin. Justin. Thanks, Funimation. Yeah. Yeah. From the good ship Lollipop, <laughs> see you, Space Cowboys. See you, Space right. Cowboys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's all say together, yippee ki oh, yeah. yeah. oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it out, Steve. All right. See you, Space Cowboy. Bang. Bang. Yeah. 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 <laughs>